And welcome back to Fox and Friends First. Unqualified and unelected Democrats reigniting the war on women with fresh attacks on Ivanka Trump for sitting at the G20 table. So is this more manufactured outrage here to debate? GOP strategist and former GOP congressional candidate Noelle Nickbor and liberal commentator uh, John Hopkins University professor Wendy Acefo. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thanks. Good so, morning. Uh, Noelle, I'll start with you. Do you see a problem with this? No, I don't see a problem with it. And it's just another example of the mainstream media going wild about Ivanka Trump. Number one, she has an office in the White House. I mean, she is an official. And the biggest gripe was they're upset because it's his daughter acting like it's some normal kid, you know, that's just stepping in. Who knows why he had to get up and leave? Mm -hmm. And 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 it's up to whoever, you know, the delegates to put in who they who they want. And she has an official role. Yeah. Wendy, she is a senior advisor. And as we just said, the delegates themselves decide. We're going to get to that in just a moment. But what do you think? I think it's the optics, but I think it's really important for us to talk about what Chancellor Merkel said, which she said, you know, anyone can sit in. However, when you have the first daughter who said on June 26 that she does not want to get involved with politics stepping in, it gives the optics that the Trump administration is blending politics and family. So again, politics is a lot about optics, mm -hmm. and right now the optics don't look good. But the Trump administration did not, uh, they weren't responsible for appointing her and having her to sit in. Here's what Angela Merkel had to say. In her defense, she said the delegations themselves decide, should the president not be present for a meeting, who will then take over and sit in the chair? Ivanka Trump was part and parcel of the American delegation, so that is something that other delegations also do. It's very well known that she works at the White House, is also engaged in certain initiatives. And, Noelle, that was something that you brought up, mm -hmm. an initiative actually right. tied into this. Yeah. Well, you know, she, um, she earlier attended um, uh, a, a, on a panel discussion for a summit meeting where she represented the United States uh, and them giving, uh, I think, $50 million mm -hmm. to a women's uh, entrepreneurial. Yeah, the World um, Bank's yeah. Women's Entrepreneurial so Finance not, Initiative. Yeah, yeah, so it's not like she's just, you know, some random person that, that works for the White House that's uh, wanting to sit in and, and get involved. She actually is involved. Yeah, and, and Wendy, this picture, which is how we found out that she was sitting in, you know, temporarily while the president got up and did something just for a moment or two, uh, was leaked by a member of the Russian media or a Russian official. Absolutely, it was. And so that also lets us know that as a country, we have to stay united in everything that we do because it was leaked for the purpose for it to sow discord and to cause this type of conversation. But again, those optics of her sitting beside high leaders like Theresa May, as well as the president of China, again, gives the optics that when you have someone like the secretary of treasury, uh -huh. uh, Mnuchin sitting right there, why didn't he step in? So we have to be mindful of why this picture was even given to the media, which was to sow discord but again those optics do not look good all right well thank you both for joining us thank appreciate your time this morning you. i'm sure there will be more reaction to come today thank you thank all you right. rob